Hey everyone, welcome back to Peak Adventures. I'm Jordan, and today I've got the latest updates from Carowinds. This week has a mix of Winterfest prep, Scarewinds crowds, and other park changes. So let's dive right in. First up, the fountain near the former Rip Roaring Rapids attraction is back in action. Water is once again flowing through, which is great to see since it was recently drained. Winterfest prep is moving along nicely. Snowflake Lake is almost ready. All four walls are now up, meaning that we're getting closer to the ice skating rink opening with Winterfest. Plus, Christmas lights have been added around the park, including in the shaded arbor section. While they're covered up with cloth for now due to scare winds, you can spot them if you look closely. Windseeker is now closed for the rest of the 2024 season. Soon, it will be transformed into a massive Christmas tree with lights covering the 301 foot tower, a sight you can see from miles away. On top of that, Christmas lights are popping up all over the park, covering trees and bushes. Winterfest is going to be a festive, sparkling wonderland soon, taking over Carowinds. Some pavement work has been spotted in Aeronautica Landing, Celebration Plaza, and Thunder Road. Carowinds has installed concrete slabs in each area with fake planters on top. It's unclear if the fake planters are temporary or permanent or perhaps covering up something that will be added later. We'll keep an eye out on these spots to see how they develop. Victory Lane Gift Shop has some new Thunder Striker merchandise. New graphic t-shirts are available including a tie-dye option and a silhouette design featuring Thunderstriker ride stats. Be sure to check them out on your next visit to Carowinds. With Halloween right around the corner, Scarewinds saw massive crowds on Friday and Saturday nights. Wait times were long for rides, restaurants, and mazes. Parking lots were completely full with guests even parking all the way out to Carolina Harbor, the bus parking area, and non-paved sections of the lot. If you plan to visit, be prepared for even larger crowds as Halloween gets closer. Over in Camp Snoopy, not much has changed, but plenty of groundwork is still being done, so we'll likely see major updates soon. Construction equipment remains on site, signaling that there is more to come for the 2025 additions. Lastly, while Carowinds largely avoided any significant impacts from Hurricane Helene, there is some noticeable damage around the park. More specifically, the ripcord sign is currently broken with a part of the sign missing from the building facade. That's it for this week's update. Lots of Winterfest prep, Scarewinds crowds, and new additions around the park. As always, be sure to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for all the latest Carowinds news and updates. Until next time, keep exploring with Peak Adventures. <laughs> <laughs>